Hi. Today we'll look at Poisson probability distribution. Now remember we have discrete probability distribution and continuous probability distribution. It's under the discrete probability distribution that we have the Poisson probability distribution. So let's look at the formula. The Poisson formula says that probability of x is equal to mu exponent x e exponent negative mu divided by x factorial. You can also write the formula like this by replacing mu with lambda. You can also quote it as such. Okay, but I'm using this. Where the mu represents the mean or average. Okay, the mean is the same as average. Okay, for the required time. And x represents the number of sources. What the question wants you to find. Okay, if the question say find the probability of exactly 2, meaning your x is 2, you get it. Okay. So let's take some examples, then you get it more better. We have two questions here. The approach of solving them is different from each other. How you solve the question 1 is different from how you solve the question 2. So kindly pay attention, watch the full video, and learn or know the difference between how to go by the question one and how to go by the question two. Okay, so let's take the question one first. Said, a sales firm receives on average three calls per hour on its top three number. For any given hour, find a probability that it will receive the following. A, exactly two calls. B, at most three calls. And C, at least three calls. To solve this, let's take the first one. Before then, what is our mean? Our mean is 3. Go back to the formula. Anywhere you see mu, you substitute what has been given to you as a mean there. And you substitute what you are finding in place of x. Okay. So, to do that, the first question says exactly 2 because meaning our x is 2 in question A. Okay. So, Probability that s is exactly 2 is equal to mu exponent x, that is 3 exponent 2, times e exponent negative mu, where the mu is 3, right? So negative 3, all divided by x factorial, that is 2 factorial. When you fix this on your calculator, you get 0 0.2240. Now, to fix this on your calculator, to get the e, you can easily input the first one. To get an E, check right under the on, where you on your calculator. Check right under it. There's a log. There's a key that they've written log on it. And under that log key too, there's another key they've written LN on it. There's OCT, the oct. Yeah. That particular key is what you are going to use. But to use it, you need to press shift before it. You press shift and press that key. Then you fix your exponent, negative 3. Then divided by 2 factorial. When you type 2, for you to get a factorial, check that same location again, where the on is, where you on your calculator. Under it, there is log. And beside it, the factorial is there. They've written x exponent, negative 1. To use it as well, press shift and that particular key to give it a factorial. Then you press equal to, it gives you 0 0.2240. Okay. So let's look at the question B. The question B says find at most three calls. At most three calls. So probability of at most three means that X is less than or equal to three. At most three means the highest, the highest power should be what? Should be three. That's the meaning. The highest should be what? Should be three. I go for lectures at most three times in a week. It means that it's either I do not go at all in a week, or I go only once in a week, or I go only twice in a week, or only thrice in a week. That's the meaning. So, to solve this, you find a probability that S is exactly zero separately. You find a probability that S is exactly one separately. Meaning anywhere you see X, you put one. You also find the probability that x is exactly 2 also separately. 
you find a probability that s is exactly three separately. When you do that, for the first one, for probability of s is exactly zero, you get 0 0.0498. For probability that s is exactly one, you get 0 0.1494. For probability that s is exactly two, you get 0 0.2240. For probability that s is exactly three, you get 0 0.2202. Then you add all the four results together. When you add them, you get 0 0.6472. Okay. If this is an MCQs question, there's no need writing all this down if you actually know the meaning of at most three. That is 0, 1, 2. You just fix all. When you write the second step down, this part, this part, when you write it down, then you fix the entire thing on the calculator. You fix this plus, then you fix this plus, then you fix this to get your answer straightforward. Okay. But you can write everything down so that you can be sure of whatever you are doing as well. Then, let's go to question C. Question C says we should find a probability of at least three calls. At least what? Three calls. Now, when we say at least three, at least three means that x is greater than or equal to three, meaning minimum power is what? Is three. I get it. If I say it rains at least three times in a week. It means that I'm trying to establish a, a statement that, oh, it, it, the minimum number of times it rains within a week is three. Meaning that it's either it rains exactly three times in a week or more than three. That's the meaning, but not below three. At least three, meaning minimum power is three. The lowest power is what is three. Are you getting it? But yeah, everything should have been better. So let's see the logic behind what I've written over here. When we say at least, at least means at least three means from three going upwards, isn't it? But we don't know the highest number of s, so we can't use this formula to find it. So that's why we have another way of doing that. And this is how it goes. Probability of x is at least 3, which is x greater than or equal to 3. There's a short formula for doing it. Okay. And to do that, you are going to say 1 minus probability of x less than 3. So remember this easily. Look at this. What is the opposite of greater than or equal to 3. The opposite of greater than or equal to 3 is less than 3. Less than 3. What I'm trying to establish here is that subtract the opposite of what you are looking for from 1 to get what you wanted. To get probability of x greater than or equal to 3, you can say 1 minus probability of x less than 3. The opposite. If something is not greater than or equal to 3, it should be less than 3. That, that means that that is the opposite. Are you following? So, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 should be 1 minus probability of x less than 3. So, that will give you 1 minus. You open a bracket. x less than 3 means probability of x is exactly 0 or probability of x is exactly 1. Or probability of s is exactly 2. You stop at 2, you won't get to 3 because you said less than 3. Less than 3 means that everything below 3. Are you getting it? So, in the next step, 1 minus, then you open your bracket again. You calculate for probability of s is exactly 0 plus probability of s is exactly 1 plus probability of s is exactly 2 equals 1 minus, when you calculate probability of s is exactly 0, you get 0 0.0498, isn't it? Plus, I hope you are following. Take your calculator and do every calculation yourself to see. Now, when you find probability of s is exactly 1, you get 0 0.1494. When you find the probability of s is exactly 2, you get 0 0.2240. Then you add the three things in the brackets together. When you add them together, you get 0 0.4232.
So 1 minus 0 0.4232, isn't it? So when you subtract, you get what? 0 0.5768. That is the final answer for this. C. Okay. Then for the question two, because of time, my time is up. Yeah. Because of the time, you watch it in the next video. So do well, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure you watch the second one because it's it's quite different. The approach is quite different from the one we just saw right now. So make sure you watch it because you see similar things in your exams, your MCQs or whatever. You see it. Thank you for watching.